بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد اي الله حبيبي في الله الله سبحانه وتعالى is تواب الرحيم he is the oft forgiving oft, oft forgiving the most merciful and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accepts our tawbah if we come back to him with sincerity and this holy month of Ramadan is a most blessed month for us to come back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so I encourage myself first and foremost and my brothers and sisters in Islam to come back to Allah azza wa jal Anabi Musa al-Ash'ari radiyallahu ta'ala anhu qal qala rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam inna Allah azza wa jal Yubsitu yadahu bil-layli li yutuba musiyya al-nahar Wa yubsitu yadahu bil-nahari li yutuba musiyya al-layl Hatta tatlu'a shamsu min maghribaha Ruahu Muslim In this hadith, the hadith of Abi Musa al-Ash'ari radiyallahu ta'ala anhu That was collected in Sahih Muslim He said that the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said Verily Allah Azza wa Jal extends his hand during the night to accept the repentance of the person who sins during the day and he extends his hand during the day to accept the repentance of the one who sins during the evening until the sun rises from the west meaning until the the day of judgment until one of the signs of the day of judgment which is the sun rising from the west and that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will accept Tawbah until this time so Allah, we have to strive our utmost to come closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and some of the characteristics of Tawbah that we should be aware of it's imperative for us to have and contain from amongst those beautiful characteristics is that a person has fear of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and hope of his mercy that they fear his punishment and hope for his mercy and part of that toba and a part of those characteristics of, of toba is that a person makes istighfar kathra kathra istighfar that they seek forgiveness from Allah azza wa jal often often astaghfirullah 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 with sincerity in their heart seeking the forgiveness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his mercy and favor and his pardon and also that they supplicate often to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and this is something I want to remind myself of and you because often we forget we study these things we know this we know we should make istighfar. We should know we should make dhikr. Make dhikr often. Remember the, the, the names of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Say, subhanallah wa bahamdihi, subhanallah radeem. This is heavy on the scale of the believer. And making the various types of adhkar and supplicating to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But do we practice this? Do we remember that when we need to remember it? Do we understand it and implement it or do we just understand it and really not take that knowledge into our heart? So Allah, don't forget, make istighfar to Allah. Supplicate to Allah and ask Him for forgiveness and ask Him for those things that you want. Uh, make dhikr to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, remember Him often. And by Allah, you will have success. You will have success. The one who makes dhikr often, do they really have time to backbite? Do they really have time to slander? Do they really have time to speak without knowledge and about matters that really have no benefit? No, of course not. Because they're busy with the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on their tongue. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us from the dhakirin and from the sabirin and from the mutatahirin 
and those who Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves. And anything I said that was correct was from Allah Azza wa Jalla, anything I said that was incorrect was from myself. And the Shaytan sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ala nabiyya Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.